So today I'm going to talk about a uh, spray gun that I bought off of Amazon. Uh, that's the name of it right there. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. The Y is uh, kind of colored, so maybe it's meant to be silent. So maybe it's a teach. A teach? I have no idea. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But so far, I've liked it. Uh, one of the things I don't like about it is uh, if you try to tackle too big of a job, it gets very hot. You can feel it getting hot here on the handle. Uh, this thing here definitely gets hot. This gets pretty hot. It, uh, it gets very hot. And uh, that's not a good sign. Generally, heat is not good for anything mechanical or electrical. So I don't know how long it'll last, but for small projects, it works pretty good. The very first time I used it, I diluted my paint way too much. It comes with six different sizes of nozzles from 1.2 millimeters all the way up to 3.0 millimeters. And the one that came in it just happened to be the 2.5. And uh, I was going to paint with some latex paint, which was pretty thick. So I thought, well, maybe the 2.5 will be just the right size. But I think I did several things wrong. One of the things, I, I diluted my latex paint way too much. And you can tell this comes with it. These are the things that come with it. This little wrench for taking uh, the nozzle off. Uh, this brush for cleaning, this viscosity cup, and an extra cap for the for the cup here. I think that's everything. There might be something else I'm missing here, but uh, basically that's the things that come with it. And this viscosity cup is very important to get your viscosity correct for whatever kind of paint you're going to be painting. And like I say, that day I was going to paint latex. I bought this primarily for painting uh, latex paint. And I, when I was pouring the paint, I noticed it was really thick. So once I got it into a container, I, uh, let me pause it. I'll go get my container. Okay, so I've got my containers here. Over the years, we've eaten a lot of peanut butter, and I always keep the jars. This one has paint in it. Uh, this one's empty. And this is a mason, mason jar. This here's the lid, of course. Uh, ball. Mason jar. And what I like about those is I bought these strainers for straining my paint. And it fits in there pretty doggone good. Uh, it's too small to use on a gallon, one gallon bucket of paint, uh, but it fits on these, these containers really nice so that you can strain your paint. And you can see there's a screen inside of there. It looks like pretty small openings and it is. So if you're going to strain your paint out of a one gallon bucket, let me put it on pause again and get my one gallon bucket. Okay, so this is the paint that I bought. Uh, kilts to all-purpose interior, exterior, primer, multi-surface, sealer, and stain blocker. But notice down here on the near the bottom, it says blocks light to medium stains. Well, this thing, I, I don't recommend this paint. If you've got stains to cover up, uh, it's, not, it's probably not going to do it. The oil base that kilts make is called the kilts original, uh, will cover up stains, but this stuff just doesn't do it. It may be fine for a primer. I, uh, the jury's still out on that. Uh, but I would not recommend trying to pour from a one gallon bucket into this strainer because that 
those that mesh in there the paint will go through but it takes a while and uh, I don't see my stir stick but I usually just take a stir stick and kind of move it around on the bottom of that and it makes it go through a little faster but if you try to pour out of a one gallon bucket and you try to pour into this thing you're going to see that it fills up that that strainer cup really fast and then you're going to have to stop pouring then you're going to have paint running down the, the side of the bucket and uh, getting everywhere. So the way I recommend doing it is to get something like this, a measuring cup. This one measures in milliliters and in ounces. But uh, if you fill this about three quarters full, just dip it down into your thing and uh, let it... Uh, let the paint run off of there until it starts to drip then you can just move it over and pour it in there and then you can just leave it like that and let it uh, drain out and then uh, get another get another one let it the paint run off until it starts to drip then just uh, put it in there and let it and that's the, the way I have found it's best to do. It's not not a good idea to try to pour from a one gallon bucket into a, a little strainer like that. And the other thing, I, I, I don't like to get a lot of paint where the lid's going to go on here. So if you use this method and you let the paint run until it starts to drip, then you're not going to get uh, you're not going to get very much paint around the edges here and you'll be able to seal this can a lot better. Just my recommendations. Uh, there may be better ways of doing it, but these are the containers that I like to use. Like I say, I've got a lot of these uh, empty peanut butter uh, jars. The only thing is that they don't seal real good. They don't have a gasket. Uh, Whereas the glass, I, I don't particularly like using these ball uh, glass because glass breaks, but you can get a really good seal. So, so much for straining the paint. Back to, uh, and, and I do recommend that you strain your paint, especially if you've got a... a a uh, one gallon bucket that you've used some paint in it and it and you stir it or shake it up uh, you're going to get little flakes of dried paint in there which could end up clogging your gun right in the middle of your spray operation which would be a pain to uh, try to stop then and go and clean it all up so straining the paint is a good idea and a pause it Okay, so back to the viscosity. Uh, the first time I used this gun, I got terrible, what I, what I would consider terrible results. For uh, if you're trying to spray some furniture or some kitchen cabinets or something that's inside the house or going to end up inside the house once you're done spraying it and you want it to look real nice, uh, you don't want big splotches of paint and that was the problem I had the first time I used this and I think I did several things wrong number one I used the 2.5 uh, milliliter tip and then I think I thinned my paint way too much it was going through this cup once I had added two not a hundred milliliters but 200 milliliters of water to the paint and I had it all inside here about right there and then I filled it all I added 200 milliliters because it looked really thick when I was pouring it into this cup and trying to get it through the strainer uh, I just went ahead and added 200 milliliters which was too much because it would go through this cup in about 40 seconds and that might be fine if you use a smaller one of the a smaller tip but I use the 2.5 and I think the other thing I did wrong was there's a flow adjuster on here 
and I've got it set all the way to max now because I was cleaning this gun with water the other day and I like to put it on maximum flow when I'm doing that but I had uh, started off with it on max with a 2.5 milliliter no uh, nozzle and only 40 seconds on my paint that had been thinned I think too much especially for a 2.5 uh, milliliter nozzle so I was getting really big splotches of paint so what I tried to do was I tried to uh, take this up here towards the negative I tried to go from maximum one two three four turns and I was still getting big splotches so then I went another four turns one two three four and uh, still getting big splotches so at that point I decided it just wasn't going to work for my furniture operations so I uh, took the cup off turned it upside down drained the paint out cleaned the cup cleaned up the gun and decided to start on a new batch of paint and I first started off just putting uh, I think it was 40 milliliters and then I checked the viscosity and it took 130 seconds for it to go through here which is too long so then I added another 50 milliliters and that got it down to oh I think it was uh, 75 to 80 seconds which I thought was pretty good I also changed out the tip from the 2.5 to the 2.0 and then while I was cleaning this just running water through it I fiddled around with this flow button and I took it out a long ways about 20 some odd turns and what I noticed when I was just spraying water that the fan that comes out of this got very got really a lot smaller very small after I turned this out over I'm gonna say 25 up to almost 30 turns this fan got very small and then I turned it all the way back to max all the way back down to max and sprayed it again and I noticed that the, that the spray the fan was very big so I thought that's probably uh, my other problem I had I had this thing near max I had it at max when I first started but then I changed it and I only turned it about one two those are maybe like half turns I only turned it about eight times and I was getting big splotches so the next time I tried it I had a viscosity time of 70 to 80 seconds I had a 2.0 nozzle in there and I opened this thing from maximum notice these are not full turns they're about a little less than half a turn but one two I turned it 18 times and then I tried it on a test piece and I noticed that the spray was much much smaller uh, no splotches just what I was looking for really for spraying uh, furniture that I was going to spray so that's my recommendations for uh, if you're looking for a nice fine spray without splotches uh, that would be my recommendation as a starting point with latex paint I'm gonna pause it oh I just noticed I'm already up to almost 15 minutes on this so I'm gonna make a part two and I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever I spray with that fine spray and that it does take quite a while with a fine spray just imagine if you went to the store and you bought a little small spray can of paint and you started spraying with it it's going to take you a while to cover something with that small spray well it's the same way with this 
with the settings that I'm using, which give me a really nice fine spray with no splotches. Uh, it's going to take a while to spray, but I'm going to show you uh, on a test piece of black, and I'm going to be using white paint, this white paint here, this kills too, uh, with the settings I just described. Uh, 75 to 80 seconds on the time, uh, 18 turns from maximum on this, and with a 2.0 milliliter, I'm going to show you what it looks like on part two, and then I'm going to show you how I clean it, and uh, how I recommend you have some uh, water and some five gallon buckets if you don't have running water where you're doing this. So uh, this is, by the way, is my old horse barn. Uh, not the best working environment, but uh, it's all I have. And with that, I'm gonna conclude this and uh, start part two.